Hi, welcome to this tutorial from Rituz.com. Today, uh, we are going to learn uh, more about the date class. As usual, let's write a spike for the date class and see how it works. Okay, let's get started. I will create it in the spike package. I will call it date spike test and say finish. Let's maximize the screen right now. Control M and I would start with creating a test. So add test and press control space and import the JUnit org.junit if the JUnit library is not on your uh, class path please go ahead and add it into your build path um, and let's uh, test something about date right now let's not worry about what it is so I want to test something about date and that's good so no errors um, let's now see how to create a new date so date date is equal to new date so that's basically how you create a new date uh, I would want to input java.util.date because that's the date which is uh, used in Java and <coughs> I would want to check what the assert equals let's see what date is so today's date is uh, 9th May 9th so I'll see if 9 is equal to date dot get day uh, one thing you'd notice here is there's a cross mark on the get day method in Eclipse what does says is actually that the get day method is deprecated so whatever we are doing right now is probably not the right thing to do so that's what the uh, get day method says and also now you can see that the get day method is uh, present with is crossed off so that's basically telling us that this is a deprecated method let, let me go ahead and add a static import for assert so that's good now uh, let's just run this regular unit all shift x and t okay good expected 9 but was actually 3 so this is actually returning the day of the week if you want to get the date you need to do get date let's just run the test again now it succeeds so that's good so uh, the earlier failure was because get day returns you the day of the week and Wednesday actually stands for 3 so as a equals if I say 3 uh, days of the week in Java starts with 0 Sunday 1 Monday and so on hence 3 stands for Wednesday today is a Wednesday when I'm running this program so it says date.get day and it would give me back 3 let's just run the test okay that's good so I get back on Wednesday uh, however what you would see here is that the get date and the get day functions are deprecated let's just see what other functions in date are deprecated if you look at it most of the functions in the date class are deprecated except for get time so except for getting the basic time uh, like as except for creating a new date and also to uh, create to get the time all the other functions in date are deprecated that's basically the how java is telling us don't use this you don't use the date when you want to get the day and the date uh, if i want to create the date for a particular date so let's say i want to create a date object representing uh, some particular year so let's say i want to create a date object for uh, one like uh, let's say 2000 before that now let's check the year also equals uh, the year is 2012 and date dot get year let's say this succeeds okay good actually this assertion fails so if you looked at the last line it fails because it says expected 2012 but was actually 112 so the result 
which came out from date.get here is 1 to L. That's because of how Java stores the dates internally. All the years are stored uh, in the date object. In the date object, the year actually is representing the number of years after 1900. So that's basically why it's getting as 112. So if I really want to get the correct value of the year, this is the assert I have to write. Uh, very confusing, but that's exactly how uh, the date object uh, represents the date internally. And that's probably one of the reasons why Java has deprecated everything related to this date object. Now, if I have to create a new date, uh, let's say I want to create a new date. Let's create this new test again and see what uh, I want to create. Test date creation with a particular date. So let's choose the uh, Independence Day. So 15th August 2012. Okay, let's go ahead with that. Uh, I want to create year is 2012 the first parameter is year so 2012 for date is 2012 minus 1900 that's 112 and the second parameter is the month the current month is may and may is uh, 0 is jan to 1 is feb and going on further may would be 4 so 4 and sorry i would want to create it for august so it's 7 and 15 so now this is how you create a date object for a particular day so this represents 15th august 2012 sounds complicated but that's how date object internally represents it so now assert equals i would just check the date uh, it's 15 i don't know which day of the week it is so i'll just remove it uh, Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, success. So this is how you create a date with a particular day. But as you can see, even this method, even this constructor of the date is deprecated. So how do we solve this? The solution to the problem is to use a class called calendar. Let's look at calendar and more in the next tutorial. We are creating more videos as we speak. And if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.